In this video, I'm going to show you a super powerful Capture One feature that allows you to create pixel perfect masks based on color range selection. So let's take a look at our example. This is a perfect picture to create such a selection because there is a strong color distinction between the yellow sand and the blue sky. So this is going to be super quick and super easy. In the previous video, we have adjusted the sky with the linear gradient tool mask. So this layer is here visible at the very top. And I'm going to switch off this layer because it is introducing blue cast, blue color cast over the top dunes. So this is how the color looks like clean without anything covering. And this is if I introduce the linear gradient mask that was strengthening, darkening my sky, but it is not super perfect. And let's maybe switch on the overlay for the mask so you can see that this is affecting the dunes. So for the moment, we are going to switch off the linear gradient tool mask and we will start working on creating the color selection for the dunes for the sand. OK, so as a first step, let's move over to the Colors tab and let's find our Color Editor tool. We will be working with the Advanced mode. Let's select a layer that is visible because the one that is at the very top is switched off. Let's hide the mask overlay. So I hit M on the keyboard and now we are ready to sample the color range within the yellow sand. So let's find the picker and let's click somewhere inside the yellow tones. So once this is done, you can see that Capture One automatically created the preview of the selected color range. I'm going to click on this icon to make sure that the whole saturation range is included. OK, and now I can manually extend the selected color range. I just want to make sure that all these colors are included. I just need to be cautious here and not to enter into the blues. So let's extend the yellows and we are basically done. You can see that the icon view selected color range is switched on. So it grays out everything that is lying outside of the selected color range. And in case of this image, it is graying out the blue sky. If we switch it off, all the colors will be visible in the image. OK, so once we have created the selected color range, if we zoom in, we can see that this is a super precise pixel perfect selection. Now we can ask Capture One to automatically create a mask that will be based on this color selection. This is super simple. You just need to move over Color Editor and select from here, Create Masked Layer from Selection. If we click on this option, Capture One will calculate the mask. And once this is done, we will have a brand new layer visible here. And if we hit M, the mask, the overlay will be visible as well. If we now zoom in, you can see that even at the magnification level, 400% the mask is really perfect. It is super precise, super smooth. And now we can start adjusting the sand. So this will be the very first step. Let's maybe rename the layer to keep things tidy. So let's switch off the mask overlay to see what we are doing here. And I'm going to actually quickly use the color balance tool. So I will be working with midtones and let's maybe warm up that sand area a little bit more. I want to go for more warm, more saturated and orangey tones. So I'm happy with this tone and I can further introduce more saturation if I wish. So with the saturation slider or if this is too much, I can back off. With the right slider, I can adjust luminosity of the mid-tone range so I can make them brighter or I can darken them. So I think I will just get back to the initial position. So that way, super quick, we have created a mask for the sand. We have created some color adjustment. If we now switch off the layer, this is our image before and after applying these adjustments. So this is the first step. And now I want to show you even more interesting and 
powerful things. Because as a next step, you can copy the mask to a next layer and you can invert the mask. That way you will have covered the area that was not included in the mask. And in case of this image, it will mean the sky. So once we do that, we will have super precise mask of the sky. We will compare the mask that was created that way with the mask that we have created before with the linear gradient. OK, so let's create a new layer. I'm going to create new empty layer and I will call it sky. OK, so next step, quick and powerful. Right click on the layer and select from here, copy mask from and send mask. So once this was applied, the mask was copied. So we have exactly the same mask as in the previous layer. And now we can play around. So I'm going to invert the mask. This is again super powerful and very easy to do in Capture One. All I need to do is to just select the option Invert Mask. Click on this and voila, your mask was inverted. And now you can introduce adjustments to the sky. You can darken the sky with this super super perfect mask. If I zoom in, you can see how nicely it blends with the rest of the image. So let's zoom out and let's actually apply some adjustments to this layer. I'm going to go for the HDR tool. So I will reduce the value for the highlights. So I will recover some detail in the sky and either with the white balance tool or maybe the color balance, I can go for deeper, bluer tone for my image. If I would like to fine tune the color, I can of course go to the color balance tool and here I can maybe introduce a little bit more of science to balance out with the rest of the image. And don't forget that once you have those masks on the layers, you can still fine tune them. You can still work with the brush if you would like to modify the mask. And if you find that this effect is too strong, and it certainly is, you can reduce opacity of this layer. So you can move over and work with the opacity slider to maybe go for a bit more subtle effect. OK, so in this clip, I have shown you how to create a mask from a selected color range. You have learned how to copy that mask to a different layer, how to invert the mask and how to apply selected adjustments to that very layer through the mask. So now we are ready to move over to the next video where we will cover Luma masking. Super powerful and super interesting. See you in the next clip.